Hey guys, here's a story about a woman, telling her story about her husband catching or cheating. They tried to reconcile and it didn't go as planned over the weekend. My husband told me he wanted a divorce. He sent the kids away for sleepovers at their friend's house on Saturday night. And stupid me thought he wanted to have a nice date night in. I prepared a nice dinner and was looking forward to spending the evening with him. How wrong I was. He said he loved me and knows it put so much effort into trying to repair the damage caused by my affair. But the damage is just too great. Contrary to popular belief, love is not enough. I could use the words like heartbroken, shattered, distraught. The list goes on, but they simply don't convey the horrible sense of fear, anxiety and sadness that I feel I am crying all day and night. Sleep comes only from extreme exhaustion from crying so much. And then it is only an hour or so at a time before I wake up all alone in a pit of fear. After crippling nightmares. My affair in D-Day was nearly two years ago now. And while my husband essentially rug swept for the longest time in refuse therapy, I finally thought we were making real progress. He was unable to be physically intimate with me for over a year. But then we began to get this back over the summer, which I was so grateful for. He also finally started to see a therapist twice a week, which I also saw as a positive. But it is now clear to me, therapy likely was a factor in him choosing to divorce. Not that his therapist told him to divorce me. But he said it did help him understand his strengths as a person and gain clarity on his feelings. He said he now realizes he will be okay and the world won't fall apart if our relationship ends. And while he wants so bad to be able to make it work, despite all the love he had for me and still has for me and all the hard work I have done since our D-Day. He says that he is one of those people who simply is not wired to move on from this. It will always be a source of pain and resentment for him. And the physical mind movies triggers and feelings of not being enough for me will always be there in some shape. He came to the realization that despite the love, it's best to end it now. So we have a chance of finding happiness elsewhere. I of course, have spent the last five days begging and pleading with him and telling him that he is all I want for happiness. But it's simply not enough for him. He doesn't want to be one of those guys that is forever doomed to being a shell of their former self, having moments of happiness, only for the cloud of sadness and resentment to be a constant hang over his mind. And while we had resumed physical intimacy, he said it is just not an enjoyable experience for him anymore. And he wants someone, he can look into their eyes and know that they haven't betrayed him in the worst possible way. I don't even know why I'm posting this. There's no advice I'm seeking the way I'm feeling right now. To be honest, I'd rather be dead. I know that it's not the way to think and my kids need me, but the fear and sadness is so crippling people who I trust have said this will pass and things will get better, but I just don't see it right now. I gave up everything for nothing. I now have to find a new place to live. Navigate how to tell our kids try to function at work. So I don't get fired in an economy where my company is looking for any excuse to let people go and do all this without the love of my life. They're beside me. I don't blame him. Of course, I know even though I have put in so much work to helping him and us both heal that reconciliation is never guaranteed. But resentment and anger are creeping into my mind. I know this sounds terrible, but I'm going to say it anyway. But I feel robbed that so many betrayed spouses would have been able to find a way to forgive and reconcile if they had me as a wayward spouse. Not that I blame or, or resent him for that. And I certainly am the sole cause of why he finds it unlikely that he'll be able to find true happiness and contentment with me. But I just get angry that I see many other way which spouses who seem much more self-absorbed, much less willing to put in the hard and lengthy work that 
that reconciliation requires and much less empathetic and compassionate to the plight that I put my husband in. I don't know. I know I have only myself to blame, but I'm just sad again. There's no real help that anyone here can give me right now. So not looking for any advice. I guess just a message to all the way which spouses out there. You don't want to be where I am right now. So however hard you think you're working towards reconciliation, find that extra gear. And if you think you're already doing all, you can force yourself to find something more and know that reconciliation, not being guaranteed, but it's something that truly is a gift is not a tagline. It can be taken away at the drop of a hat. I know most of you guys are gonna crucify this man in the comments. But you know what, I'm going to go against the grain and I'm gonna tell you why there's nothing wrong with trying to forgive another human being. Depending on the circumstances, this guy tried to forgive his wife for cheating on him. They reconciled. But you know what? He had a chance to reflect and think I'm like, you know what, I can't do this and he told her that and now she's on Reddit. You know. She's not asking for advice. That's what she says in the story. But I beg to differ. But, you know, the betrayal was...